This is a rather long video. You can find detailed information, files for downloading, and more, on my website. This link is also in the video description. In the previous episode, we mapped some faders and buttons to on PC. Let's now do that for encoders. First, we enable auto add again and turn the encoders on the MIDI device. That gives us the control change numbers they are sending. Alright, it is CC18 to CC21. We will map the first encoder with CC18 to control the dimmer attribute in MA on PC. These are all the options available. You see the values changing when I turn the encoder. Some of the chatain files must be tweaked a little bit. You find them in users, your name, documents, chatain, modules. Please, refer to the video description or the website. We navigate to the module location and open the file module JSON in an editor. Scroll down to the turn encoder section. We change the min and max values, in order to allow negative numbers. We need that for the pan and tilt attributes. And we add two new features to be controlled by the encoders. In this case, it is haze amount and haze fan speed. Don't forget the comma. Then, we open the grandma 3JS, and scroll down to the function turn encoder. We duplicate the the lines there and comment out the old ones. The problem is, that the command sent is an at, plus. This allows only increasing settings of the feature. Once you reached 100%, you stay there. Simply emit the plus sign, and all is done. After saving these files, you must restart Chatain, for the changes to take effect. Oops, forgot to name this properly. Now, let's map and pan encoder. We select CC19. Add a remap filter. Select, turn encoder. We set the range from minus 100, to plus 100. Now, let us send a command, like clear from a button.
We can also select a preset. The syntax is, at preset 1.4 that selects the fourth dimmer preset. More examples can be found on the website. Now, we want to add some basic feedback, from the MA to the motor faders of the Behringer. This can be done by MIDI commands. I've built a simple plugin, that does the job. One can configure the plugin to run only once. This is what I prefer, because moving a fader in on PC slowly, will cause rattle and noise from the Behringer. However, you can set the end times variable to for example 2000 and the delay variable to 0.3 seconds. Then the faders will be updated 2000 times each 0.3 seconds. In on PC, right click into an empty plugin slot. Click on, insert new component Lua. Click, edit. Download the script from the website and open it in an editor. Select all and copy to clipboard. Paste the script into the Lua editor and save it. Rename the script. Relabel the plugin button. To set up the MIDI send, go to Menu. Settings. On PC settings and select your MIDI device. The plugin now translates the movement of the executor fader 1.201 to CC1, and sends it to the X touch fader on bank A. The master fader is translated to CC9, which is the master on the X touch. Executor 1.216 etc. are mapped to the faders on bank B on the X touch. You can see the faders move in on PC, following the X touch. Movement of the faders in on PC will be transferred after activating the sync plugin. I also have a sync button on the X touch and in touch OSC. It perfectly fits my workflow. Thanks for watching, and please check the website.